Welcome back to Vore's Physical Media Rant. I'm Vanessa. I am... Who am I? Charles. Okay. <laughs> And today, we are going to show you everything that we got this week, our Blu-ray haul. We actually picked up a good bit. Yeah, we did. Especially today. And by the way, in case the sexploitation cell by Vinegar Syndrome is going on now, so if you want some juicy movies that can get your girl hot and bothered, head over there, 50% off. Yes. Plenty of movies to choose, to choose from. You got bottom, you got top, you got middle. Yep. There you go. Don't stop. Run. Run over to VinegarSyndrome.com. Yeah. Support Vinegar Syndrome. They're good. Absolutely. Their movies might be raunchy, might be dirty, might be skanky. They'll get you all hot and bothered. That's what you want on Valentine's Day, right? Yes. All right. Then. Okay. All right. Let's get started. Well, you talk about them and I'll hold them up. Got this movie in the mail today. Who is Dark Man? We all know it's Liam Neeson. Unless you haven't seen it. Like me. But, yeah. But Obviously, I live with Liam him, Neeson. so... But yeah, this is the this came in the mail today. It's from uh, Shout says Scream Factory. Yes, I decided to go with Stillbook because the Stillbook looks pretty cool. Mm -hmm. We also got this in the mail. The Cage the Butcher's cage. Crossing, where he's a buffalo hunter. Yes, actually ordered this here's off of uh, Amazon. Mm -hmm. And show here's him, the, back. the back. Yep. Here's yeah. Radar. Yep, but I'm definitely looking forward to that one. Okay. I finally picked this movie up. I wanted it when it first came out. For some reason, I forgot. Mm -hmm. Probably because that scream crap came out, and I just totally got clustered. But I, I think other movies were coming out, too. Yeah, that, yeah scream, I think Scream um, Drum, too, and I totally forgot. We but, actually still got this with a slip Yeah, cover. I was very surprised. Here's the side. I still know what you did last summer. What did I do last summer? Was that good last summer, or was that bad? You were good. Oh, maybe. I may have been pecking around somewhere. You didn't peck around nowhere. <laughs> what? <laughs> and there's the back. Okay, and then our last pickup that we received in the mail, which we talked about and on another. And by the way, the uh, sexploitation sale by Vinegar Syndrome, 50% off. Go over. From Vinegar Syndrome, Freeway 2. They're Confessions hard... of a Trick Baby. Yes, they're hard box sets. That's the only way to go. Yeah. Well, you like a horror, don't you? Yeah, of course. Yeah. And then we also got the the case that holds both of them. That was very smart by them. Yes. It, it wasn't a high price. It was only twelve ninety nine for that. That's not bad. It's well worth it. And you got both of the faces on yes. the back. Great movies. Here, I'll give you back those. Okay. Well, you want to... We already did that one. We got oh. that one. Okay, so... We don't have a Hamilton Books here. We have a store called Second and Charles. And they actually had a pretty good deal. It was buy two Blu-rays, get two Blu-rays for free. So, I mean, we did pretty good. We actually got eight movies and yeah. spent less than... We spent $38. $38, so. less than 40 bucks for eight movies. That's actually pretty good. So, we thought we had this movie in our collection, and we do not. It is Disturbia. With Shia LaBeouf. I actually really enjoyed this movie. He had a creepy neighbor. Yes, the very creepy neighbor. And nobody believe him. Remember, he was on house arrest. Yes. He kept, <laughs> he kept getting in trouble. He had an ankle one. He had an ankle bracelet. But that, that was a really yeah. good movie. And what was the girl's name? Sarah Roma? Mm -hmm. I like her. She's right there. Okay. That's the other one we didn't bring out. Oh, right. <laughs> I just remembered. <laughs> so we actually picked this up in the mail also. We had George Romero's The Crazies. The original. The original. I have never seen this. And from I'm a, Arrow. I'm a big Romero fan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can't say. Can't say anything but, bad. <laughs> nothing but nice things for yes. Arrow. I have not seen this one and I have not seen the remake. But I am definitely looking forward to watching them. That's why I brought the reason why I brought that up is because we got the remake. I've actually seen the remake. It was pretty. It, yeah, it was pretty good. I really like Timothy Timothy Oliphant in this movie. I'm looking forward to watching both of them since I have not. Oh, let's go here. Okay, we also picked up. Oh, we found this. Ryan Reynolds in buried. buried. I haven't seen this movie since it I think came out. 
I actually enjoyed this one. Yeah. yeah. This, this was a good movie. It was a very good Ryan, movie. Ryan Reynolds is a pretty good actor. Yep. I'm trying to think. Okay. We have the original over there. Mm -hmm. But we got the remake of The Fly. Nurse. I had to remake and I got rid of it. For, for, I guess because I'm partial to the original because it yeah. had Kiefer Sutherland in it. I think so. But um, this was a solid. This was a pretty good remake. Yeah. I actually enjoyed it the second time around. I watched it. So I'm like, we've seen it. So I'm like, I'm, I'm going to get this. Yep. And they actually had it pretty decent. Yeah. Okay. We got this movie called Max, Best Friend, Hero, Marine, right? We have not seen this movie, but. We just got because of the dog. Because of the dog. <laughs> yeah. It does have Lauren Graham in it, though. I'm looking forward to it. Well, we got this one because you know damn well it ain't never going to get a 4K because the uh, nope. asshole company called Disney owns it. <laughs> Which is King Arthur. And it's actually the director's cut. Yeah. This has Clive Owen. And Keira Knightley. Yeah. Yeah. I really like Keira Knightley. Yeah, I do, too. No. <laughs> I don't think so. I have seen this movie, but he has not. Mm. And I told him it's actually pretty good. Risen. This is actually a good movie to watch during Easter. You plan on watching that this year? Yes. It has Joseph Fiennes. Who's the... He related to Ralph Fiennes? Yeah, that's his brother. Oh, huh, I didn't know that. And Tom Felton from Harry Potter, who plays Malfoy. But this movie mm. is actually really good. And they do not have a Blu-ray. I would like to see a Blu-ray or even a 4K of this yes. movie, but I know we're not going to get it. No. So we, we found the Blu-ray. Yeah. Disney owns this. But it's a, it's a Mom, classic. The Babysitter's Dead. If you have not seen this movie, you need to watch it. You need, you've been living under a rock. <laughs> this movie is hilarious. It's hilarious. It's very hilarious. If you like Home Alone, you're going to like this one. Yes. It's got Christine Applegate when she actually looked good. Yeah. I feel bad for her because she's got, like, I think, yeah. multiple sclerosis yeah. or something like that. Yeah. It's really bad. But those are actually our pickups for this week. Like, comment what you have received this week because we would love to know. Yeah. And definitely subscribe to our channel and hit that bell notification to let you know every time we post a video. And we're not done yet. No, we're not. We have one more video. Oh, yeah. And by the way, uh, Vinegar Syndrome, 50% off exploitation sale. 50% sure. off. Yes. Good. <laughs> anyway, went to the uh, our you local the... Uh, vinyl store. To, to me, this is like the best thing I've got out of this. Yeah. <laughs> but you saved the best for last. It's coming from my favorite franchise. Here we go. It's Friday the Thirteenth, Part Five, Vinyl. Yes. Let me the original turn it soundtrack. Let me turn it around. There's Reggie. There's Reggie. And then the inside. The, the inside is is, is the, phenomenal. The artwork. Okay. Is yeah. It, this. Yeah. That was amazing skill in that scene. And, and then I'll let you grab the vinyl out. And this they did. This is actually wax work yes. records. The the vinyl on this is sweet looking. Waxwork does a really good job. Yes. When the Friday the 13th, the first one came out, I mean, we actually bought it through Waxwork. Look, look at that. Because we wanted the vinyl with it. Because this is his favorite movie. That is nice. Very nice. I might as well go ahead and show off the other one because that one looks different also. Because it does look different. I'm just get them back in. We actually have about two vinyl shops we normally shop at yeah. and uh one which is the one we just went to today and then the other one we they moved because they had like what a fire last yeah. year so but they moved we haven't been to the new one yet there's that one it's even the, the lines go different yeah but on the back of it got jason's head got jason's head i mean what can you ask for yeah i mean it, it, beautiful vinyl wax work if you have not heard of them you need to go check yes. them out because it their vinyls are a little pricey, but, but they're worth it. But the work, the work on it. My goal was to get every single one of these mm -hmm. at some point to add to our 
fabulous sure. Jason collection. Okay. If you see up there, let me go this way, that one, that one right there, I'll get it. I bought that yeah. for him for his birthday. I can't get it. I'm too short. Okay. <laughs> Not this year, but last year I bought it for him. And I didn't spend a lot of money on it, but it opens up. It's a little mini Jason. But the reason why I bought it, that is Kane Hodder's signature. I said I had to buy it. Kane Hodder's a badass. Yes. Yeah. You can always tell when Kane Hodder is Jason mm -hmm. because he is so big. Yeah. He's intimidating just alone. Mm -hmm. You don't have to put the makeup on. Mm -hmm. I actually met Kane Hodder at Jason's Woods. Cool as shit. Which is in that was, PA, that's, that's right? That's in Lancaster, PA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The, uh. He was up there just for a Halloween. They had bands and whatnot. He, yeah, he, he was cool as hell to meet. I also met Doug Bradley, mm -hmm. obviously, who was Penny. Yeah. Unfortunately, we didn't get to uh, uh, Kim's Crypt to uh, see the guy that played the original uh, Jason in the uh, part two. Mm -hmm. Where I didn't get to see him. I was mm -hmm. actually looking forward to that. Of course, he's no longer with us. Mm -hmm. But, um, Kane Hodder was definitely a treat to meet. Yeah. This is before my time. Yeah, it was, it was way before her time. But like I said, I got to meet him. I got to meet Penhead. And then I got to meet uh, the, I can't remember the guy that, the brother in um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The one that carries the knife. That's not Gunnar Hansen. Mm -hmm. uh, I forget what his name was, but he was there also. Oh. I got to meet him. It's kind of... I forget what his name is, though. I'm going to grab the movie and look. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's the easiest way to do it. Yeah, I have no idea who that guy is. There we go. I know it ain't Marilyn. Maybe William Vale? I can't remember exactly what his name is. Oh, okay. Well, he met him. <laughs> yeah, I met him. He was pretty cool, too. But I have to say the highlight was meeting uh, Kane Hodder. Mm -hmm. Since I'm like a big Jason fan. Mm -hmm. I, I've i been a fan since I was a kid. I, I speak highly of that franchise. Yep. She knows. She knows. That's a given. Every Halloween, we watch Jason. No matter what. Because he's my favorite. Halloween, I can skip. I like Michael Myers, but he ain't my go-to. Jason, no. his kills are so unique. Yes. And he's just, he goes up and kills you and then goes, moves on he to the next one. He just goes on yeah. to the next one. But um, anyway. No but more. yeah, those were yeah. our pickups. Yeah. So see you on the next one. Yep. Goodbye.